Taylor, your order's up, Taylor. up, Ken. <laughs> Natalie, your order's up. Natalie. CD, it's a great band. We're glad to have them with us here tonight. I'd like to see who traveled the farthest to be here tonight with us. Station in. England? Anybody any farther away from the uh, California. <laughs> That's just the other side of Memphis. Where are you from? Sweden? Okay. Sweden? Cal uh, uh, okay, is Sweden, I'm really bad at geography. Is Sweden farther than London? Okay. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> hey, nobody's perfect. I'm from the father, not from Alabama. Ah, you wish you were from somewhere. <laughs> but anyhow, all right, Sweden. You can go over there and pick you out a Station Inn t-shirt. Free from the Station Inn. Thank you for being here. Thank all of you very much. Welcome. I want to welcome everybody that's watching on the internet tonight. Worldwide. From right here. Yeah. I forgot to tell y'all earlier, yeah. But. Well, we promoted it, and I said, y'all better be watching them line or JT won't book us back no more. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they're ready. Y'all ready? Let's make a buck of her tonight. Station in Nashville, Tennessee. Sister Sadie. I know that you've been running around Don't try to talk, cause I'm not listening The love we had can no longer be found I can see those dark clouds rising Above that midnight air I only wanted to love you forever And now forever's gone And I no longer can See you. 
Saturday night with us. We know that y'all had a ton of options and you chose us and we certainly appreciate that. We, thank you. We are celebrating uh, a brand new release 
on Pine Castle Records. Uh, it was released back, actually, back in August, uh, August 24th. Yeah, people just heard about that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and uh, is that somebody's birthday? Anniversary. Anniversary. All right. Well, happy late anniversary. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so when we're making an album, us girls, well, it is five women. Let me just say that. I like when you said girls, though. Well, five girls, whatever. <laughs> I'll, I'll take, yeah. Take yeah. That introduction. Mm hmm we always say, oh, we'll just put a couple weeks in the studio and get her done. And then about eight or nine months later, we're still mixing. So at that point in time. But we started this project back in December of last year. Yep. Uh, we released it in August. So there you go. <laughs> Anyhow, we're, we're very tickled to have it out and uh, just glad it's done. And this is one of the songs that's on the brand new project. Um, it's an old Woody Guthrie song, and I was search around that YouTube and uh, YouTube, whatever it is, <laughs> finding videos at. And uh, I, I didn't say I was not a tea person. I said I'm a manly player, okay? So <laughs> wherever you find them videos at on the World Wide Web is where I found this at. And uh, so y'all got the internet too? <laughs> It's gonna catch on. Well, I don't know about it, but anyhow, I did find this song and I, I brought it to the girls and I was like, God, we gotta do this, we should do this. And so Danny's like, let's speed it up a little bit because she's the one that can play the fastest in the band, really, let's be honest. I'm playing on this faster than I've ever played or even need to play on this song ever. And uh, we just hang on for dear life and and Del Ann brings his own home with a good old G-run on it. So anyhow, but I will say, Mr. Scott Vessel engineered the project and, uh, and mixed it. And let me tell you, boy, he had to have some patience with us on this song. <laughs> he had to have the patience of Joe with us on this song because it was fast. So anyhow, but we hope you enjoy it. It's one called Since I Laid My Burdens Down. <laughs> Troubles will be over 
some of these women up here and I'm gonna start with this lady right here to my left she is one of the finest singers that's ever lent her voice to a song well she knows how to do it and you know she has uh, become one of my best friends in the whole wide world and I'm just very blessed to make music with her and thrilled and uh, She's five-time female vocalist of the International Bluegrass Music Association. <laughs> and most recently, back in May, was inducted into the Kentucky Music Hall of Fame. <laughs> Would y'all give it up, everybody, as she does this old traditional song for you. This is Miss Delanne Bradley. <laughs>
you all so much. I'm telling you, the best times uh, throughout all these many years, some of the best musical times have been here right on this stage at the Station Inn. And, uh, it's been a mainstay for not only bluegrass musicians, but so many others. So it's a, uh, definitely says world famous, and it definitely is. So. I want to introduce uh, the lady that's been doing all this pretty harmony singing and lead singing and mandolin picking. Uh, she's one of the finest vocalists you'll hear anywhere in any style of music. She's a great writer. She does a lot of songs that she writes and brings them to the band. And uh, She's traveled and picked music since she can remember uh, with her family band and uh, with uh, so many others too. And we're so proud that she's part of this band. Um, she's going to I do you a little special song that's kind of different for us, and uh, maybe there'll be more songs come about because of this, but uh, Haleyville, Alabama is where she calls home. So you're going to enjoy the all the evening singing with Miss Tina Adair. Thank you so much. Well, we're going to do a song on the on the uh, new project, and uh, it's just, I'm a huge Odetta fan, and... Uh, Found, yeah, and uh, I found this song that uh, she had done and sent it to the girls and said, God, we got to work this up some way. And so uh, Danny said, I'll arrange it. And uh, so she arranged it, and uh, it's only got fiddle on it. So. <laughs> but we didn't take that personal or nothing. Nah. <laughs> well, you didn't, but anyhow. <laughs> I play fiddle too, Delan. You know that, so, and uh, you know that, right? And yeah, I got I got a dog titty or two in, in me before the night's over with. So, yes, thank you very much for the dog titty fans. I appreciate you. Um, so, and for those of you who don't know what that is, you'll leave here a dog titty fan. I promise you. But Danny, or you just leave, but it'll forever be ingrained in your head. So. So Deanie arranged this, but it does got some singing on it, so we appreciate her letting us sing with her on this fiddle track. Because it did have words to it, so anyhow. So anyhow, this is one called 900 Miles. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, 
and I'll pawn you my watch and I'll pawn you my chain pawn you my gold and diamonds Cause I'm 900 miles from my home Oh Lord, I hate to hear that lonesome whistle blow Well I'm walking down this railroad track Tears in my eyes Trying to read a letter from my young lady back here on the bass to come up here and sing a song for you. She comes from a big family. She's got most of them here tonight. They all got our t-shirts on. There's it's army green. She said, I brought my army with me tonight. <laughs> I like that. She's got a great family and uh, she's a great person and she comes from that uh, good old bluegrass state of Wisconsin, everybody. <laughs> Right. You know, they make some real good cheese up there. <laughs> it's funny you say that because they also make surgical tools, too. Well. <laughs> hmm. It probably one goes, one goes with the other, right? I, I guess imagine, at some point in time. I imagine if you got one of them, you're going to need the other. <laughs> Y'all do know what we're talking about, right? Okay, well, if you eat a lot of cheese and it get, you know. Get all, yeah, you know, out of sorts. Get all cattywampus on you, you know, so. <laughs> well, sometimes you do. It'll lock you up, so anyhow. So. Now, he said it first. I didn't. Anyhow, she, Beth, it, save us, please, Beth. Come back here. She Come up here and save us. <laughs> well, y'all make her way. She's spent over half her life in Tennessee as well, and uh, she's just a great bass player and a great singer and a great friend and person, and we love her to pieces. Will y'all make her welcome, everybody? Miss Beth Lawrence. <laughs>
you none, Beth. You read my mind. It hurt me for you, though. <laughs> We're going to do another song that was brought to us through Del Ann um, by means of Miss Paula Breedlove, who's a writer right now that's got a lot of songs out on the charts and out on radio. And uh, just I a, bet she's listening. Well, if you are, Again, I forget about that thing, so y'all never know. Y'all kind of help keep me in check on this, what I'm saying in here tonight. Um, Paul, if you out there, this is going out to you because you wrote it. Anyhow, um, we helping you make some money, Paula. So anyhow, <laughs> just remember that. Uh, this song actually, we recorded it, and it's just got a great melody, and it's a, it's a beautiful story, and... But after we recorded it, we realized that it covers pretty much all the states that we're from. Me from Alabama, Dylan from Kentucky, Gina from North Carolina, and Danny from Tennessee, and Beth making her home now in Tennessee and all. So it really <laughs> covers that. It, we got to throw a little kink in it. There's Montana's in there, so that's random. But anyhow, um, ain't none of us from Montana, so <laughs> maybe one day, right? right? Maybe one day we'll just all we retire in Montana. Someday. Yeah, that's right. But uh, this is one. Tell them about it, Dylan. Oh. You know? I think I didn't do it. it but, yeah. That's okay. It's uh, we we've, we've done a video. We've got three videos out, and this is one of the songs that we did the video on. No Smoky Mountains. <laughs> Love wasn't always easy But even when hard times Were at our door Love never Let it come between us And in the end I only loved you more So our love's not growing old It's growing stronger And somehow after all that we've been through, it's not enough to say that it's forever. Cause my heart is set on loving you. There's no sweet home Alabama playing on the radio. No big skies over Montana. No wine and country roads. There's no bluegrass in Kentucky, Carolinas don't touch the sea, and there's no smoky mountains down in Tennessee. Just the thought of it tears me all to pieces Cause I know that I'd be missing you There's no sweet home Alabama playing on the radio No big skies over Montana 
Atlanta, no one in country roads. There's no bluegrass in Kentucky, Carolinas don't touch the sea, and there's no smoky mountains down. So there's no sweet home Alabama playing on a radio. No big skies over Montana, or no one in country roads. There's no bluegrass in Kentucky, Carolinas don't Thank y'all. Thank you so much. Lady on the banjo. Y'all been knowing her for many years, too. She's been picking since she was just a toddling around. God love it. God love it. <laughs> Bless its little heart. <laughs> it don't know no better. <laughs> oh, not only that, she's been part of some of the bands and some of the recorded music that is currently going down in history has been the standard of how this thing is done. And she has carried it on from first and second generation and she's carrying it right on through her generation. Talking about my generation. <laughs> she ain't gonna join the who though. You Roger on that Facebook. Say, you on that Facebook thing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wait, pay for that. <laughs> she's one of the finest banjo players you're gonna hear. And anywhere, I'm telling you, I say that unabashedly. See, I know big words. <laughs> well, I don't know that one. Explain it. Oh, well, it means just, I ain't saying that because she's here. That's oh. what that means. She's one of the finest you're going to hear, man. She, she's got the touch. Wonderful singer, harmony singer, and just a dear person to be in a band with. From Star, North Carolina, Gina Brett. <laughs>
we're going to get this young lady over here to fiddle y'all something. How about that? Oprah? Yeah. Here we go. She is one of the best fiddle players that I've ever made music with, and I'm, I'm blessed to make music with her. And also, uh, proud to call her one of my best friends. And uh, she has started her career back way long time ago, and I think her first professional gig was 14 or 15 years old with the New Coon Creek Girls, and then she went on to Holly Dunn at 17, and then on to Patty Loveless, and yeah, and then on to Vince Gill, and she went across the pond and toured with the Chieftains. Mm -hmm. You. Oh. And then she come back, and her latest tour was on a rock and roll tour. She toured with the one and only Bob Seger. She can't keep a real good job, but anyhow, so. <laughs> How was that money, though, with Bob? Sir Danny? It was way better tonight, I tell you that. <laughs> well. How many songs did you get to play? Three. Did you do any dog titties? Nope. Okay. Well, maybe Bob will need some dog titties later. I don't know. Bob Seeger, if you're watching our Facebook Live. It's all about the elbow technique, so anyhow. <laughs> so, anyhow, she decided to play music with us for some reason, but anyhow, and she's an amazing fiddle player, and I want to play fiddle like her someday, and someday I will, and I know that with all my heart. I feel that deep down in my heart I'll play like you one day, okay? I'm that close, okay? But anyhow, I'm going to introduce you right now, and she's going to fiddle you a, a fine tune. Would y'all give it up, everybody, for Miss Dini Richardson? <laughs> Sponsorship with Depends to show y'all know if anybody cared. I need one. <laughs> hey, I, I need one. And y'all know who and what I'm talking about. <laughs> they fit real good on your head. When you've washed your hair, you know, and you just put that. 
that on your head. You cannot tell me, Dylan, you have put it to pins on top of your head. I'm from southeastern Kentucky. <laughs> and I'll promise you, my, my grandmother didn't have no depends, but, you know, regular garments of that nature. When she rolled like her hair, panties? she put them on her head. She put panties on her head. She put panties on her head? I'm sorry about her children. She did. It kept her hair from moving around. She did. Now, Dylan. They pink. I am from North Alabama. <laughs> they some... We there's some weird things down there too. Well, but I ain't never seen my nanny put no panties on top of her head. <laughs> she used to use a pillar case, like a silk pillar case. Where, well, you know what I'm talking about. She put her jammers on at night and then she put a silk pillar case on. We didn't have no hair. We didn't have no pillar cases. Y'all didn't have no pillar cases? <laughs> no, we, you no, I promise have... we had brown paper bags with paper stuffed in them and we'd wad them up and put them under our head. You took a brown poke, poke that's what we call yeah. them down in Alabama, brown poke, yeah. and you stuffed more brown pokes in them so that you can sleep on it. Yeah. And your grandma was worried about her hair. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I tell you. the sad part is, this is true. This, I'm just hearing this, but I know this is God honest truth. This is in the Eastern Hills of Kentucky. I know it is. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. What's the, next the next song, well, appropriately, Kentucky. appropriately about probably about Eastern Kentucky because I've. Brought some of it back before with me <laughs> in a mason jar. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No telling how time how many times we've run illegal across that oh, state. We didn't even know it. I don't care. Anyhow, so it's alright. Me or not, we y'all right? That's what matters. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Oh, God Almighty, we're on that live thing. <laughs> oh, God, I'm talk what I'm talking about is lemonade. Apple juice. Apple juice. Apple juice. Peach juice. <laughs> Strawberries and blueberries and blackberries. And well, I could go through all the berries, I guess. <laughs> We're going into the pies, too, when we're talking about that. <laughs> I like the pie, casually. <laughs> Apple's my favorite, so. In case you're watching out there, so anyhow, so. All right, but we're going to do this single. This is our very first single um, on our very first record. So I've had a bunch of folks come up and uh, tell me night that y'all were at our very first show that we did when we released our very first album. So thank y'all for coming back. I appreciate that. Yeah. But this is our very first single that we ever had out. It's a tune written by Miss Deanie and Bill Bill Tennyson that's here in town. So if you're watching Bill, hi. This is one called The Unholy Water. First time you ever pick me up
From that well upon the hill, or dripping from a copper steel, the devil's own dog, quenching the thirst of a damned I am unholy water.
Jam, the order's up, jam. Jam, your order's up, jam.
Andy, your order's up, Andy. We're back.
tune that uh, Miss Gina Britt wrote entitled Raleigh's Ride. It actually was used this past September at the International World of Bluegrass over in Raleigh, North Carolina. It's their, kind of their soundtrack. Yeah, the Wob. So, anyhow. <laughs> so, that is on our latest album. It is. Mm -hmm. And this next one is too. And uh, this kind of. <laughs> I got to tell a quick little story, but then I will get to the music. Okay. Anyhow, so uh, she, uh, Delian, brought this to the band. She'd been singing it for years, and it's an old Bobby Bear song, and uh, she said she wanted to do it with us, and uh, it's beautiful, but it makes her emotional sometimes, so it's one of them songs that makes her cry. So we were in the studio recording it and she said I, I actually played one track of guitar on it and uh, she said won't you go ahead and play that guitar track baby and I'll go over here in, the, in this other booth and I'll sing try to get me a good vocal track on it you know <laughs> well she went on in there and we're all recording live and all of a sudden I hear something going wrong <laughs> and I didn't want to stop because we're recording you know and it was feeling good you know and all of a sudden it was her crying and she's talking in the mic going y'all y'all just go on without me I'll whistle this next verse and then commence to whistling the next verse while we're trying to record and be serious so she's like <laughs> so thank god Scott Vestal has all of this b-roll because someday it will come out it will come out yeah, uh, the whistling verse of this song. But, yeah, <laughs> but, uh, yeah this is one that uh, did you learn from Bobby, right? Bobby Bear, right? I did. Yeah, it's one called I'm Not a Candle in the Wind. <laughs>
someone who will never harm you. Well, I'm a warm fire burning, not a candle in the wind. I'm a warm fire burning, not a candle. Miss Britt over here. We learned this tune, um, Gina did from Miss Danny Flowers, who is a great songwriter, new songwriter, up and coming, and great vocalist and all in town. And she wrote this with her pals, Ashley McBride and Terry Jo Box. And uh, it's a really, really well written song. And uh, Gina just sings a dog snot out of it. So, anyhow. <laughs> But she'd been low under the weather, so tonight she just might sing the snot out of it. I don't know. So. She's staying with me, and I hope you don't get me sick. I've lysoled her about ten times today, so now I'm a germaphobe. But you ready, Jeeba? All right. This is one called Something to Lose. But I was kind of hoping I was close enough No, you've got a reputation And these days you've got to keep your cool And the last thing that you want right now Is somebody else to answer to Something to lose takes your breath, scares you half to death. Something you can't help but hold on to. Yet yeah, don't you ever wonder what it might be like to have something to lose. Bye. 
back in the day. She <laughs> was. <laughs> Y'all thought I'd heard that story before the stage, but I hadn't, and I promise you. So anyhow, panties on a head. <laughs> yep. New picking tune, I guess. That's what we call her, I guess. I'm going to do this old Dan Fogelberg song for you. It's on the album that Del Ann brought. To the band's one called The Morning Sky. soon be gone and you don't even want to talk about it Keep on staring at the door Ooh, And it makes me stop and wonder why People give their hearts Then turn around and say goodbye If there's something on your mind You better say it while there's time Cause I'm leaving when I see that morning sky seconds Tina and I were on the same part. <laughs> that was my fault. I had a memory thing going on there. Well, I just thought I'd sing tenor for a minute. It's okay. You can do whatever you want to do. That's true. We're grown, ain't we? Grown adults. Anybody right? wear panties on their head and do anything you want? <laughs> Anybody that has a grandma wears panties on her head and do whatever they want. Is the people out there that's from Wales still here? I didn't 
say whales. I said whales. Where? Welcome to Nashville. Yes? I'm Welch. You tell me about my homeland. Somebody sent us a letter one time said we had inherited a castle. I don't think it was true. <laughs> what did he <you> say? <laughs> well, welcome to Nashville, okay? Yeah, and uh, I don't know if you're celebrating something, but welcome anyhow. I guess you're celebrating being at the Station Inn for the first time, right? <laughs> we got people here from all over. Ken White, where are you at? Ken flew in or drove in or something from Dallas, Texas, yes. And then, thank you, Ken. And then Dean Eaton flew in from Boston. And uh, we got all kinds of people. Somebody from Seattle. Michigan. What, what part of Michigan? Colorado. Oh, my Colorado, gosh. Seattle, Michigan. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Somebody's Morocco? from Morocco. They got bluegrass festivals up there. <laughs> About February. <laughs> We'd work real cheap. We got a couple over here celebrating. Are they still here, y'all? Scott? No, not Scott. Curtis, sorry. Scott. Sorry, Curtis. Scott, Curtis, whatever. Happy anniversary. They're from, they're from Florida, and they're celebrating their 25th oh. wedding anniversary. Oh. 29 years tomorrow. My God almighty, that's, that's all an accomplishment. Is Brandon and Jess here? Woo! Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. They're like a half a year or something like that. So. No, not really. But about, what, eight, nine months? Y'all been married, right? I'm just kidding. Happy anniversary. Brandon is... Brandon Bostic is our sound guy that goes out with us on the road, and he's the only one that's really been brave enough to tackle traveling with these five middle-aged women out on the road. <laughs> but he's in his 20s. He don't know no better right now. So. We're uh, teaching him right, Jess. Yeah, we just... You get our age, he'll be so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> just, just tell him what to do, and he does it. So, you know. And I got... Um, I've got some family here that I haven't seen in like 14 or 15 years. So you still like them? I still like them. Okay. Do you still know them? I still know them. All right. Well, I ain't good. seen them in a long time, but my my cousin Kelly's here, and her husband and family. So right here, my cousin Kelly. Right oh, here. nice. So it's cool to see family you haven't seen in a long time. So thank you for coming out. That's great. Thank you for coming. Out. Don't be speaking to me not with that that thing voice. <laughs> Sound like you cursing at me in tongues or something, I don't know. <laughs> but welcome. <laughs> we love you anyway. The Edinburgh people, we've got some information on some of our future upcoming shows that y'all will like, I think. Yeah. Go ahead and tell them about it. A cruise. A cruise. Cruise. Cru cru cruise. Uh, y'all yes. sound more excited than I do about it. <laughs> I have never been in a big old boat before out in the middle of the ocean with nowhere to go for five days except either on that boat or in the water. So, and I don't swim well, so... It's a what? <laughs> Say it again. You know you want to. <laughs> Let me teach you something. It's a boat. B O W T, a boat. <laughs> I don't know if y'all won't be stuck on a boat with us for five days out in the middle of the ocean somewhere, but. We're supposed to have workshops or something that we're supposed to come up with and be creative. So here is as creative as we could come up with for these workshops that we're supposed to hold for Sister Sadie on this big old boat in the middle of the ocean going to Cozy Mail and the Grand Canyon Islands. So 
We got the first workshop. Listen up. The first workshop I've been able to come up with is a cocktail hour with me, so. <laughs> Guaranteed a fun time, and it may last longer than an hour or two. So anyhow, <laughs> the second was really clever. Going down the road, Beth said, <laughs> I, "We like I, I used to like just go watch the water on the boat." So <laughs> I don't really know what that means, but she. So we go water watching with Beth. <laughs> And we saved the best for last, who I cannot take credit for this. I have to give credit to Brandon Bostick for coming up with his terminology for it. But the last is, well, you see, when I get in a pool, I'm pretty buoyant. I guess fat people are buoyant, I don't know. But I can bob like when them little white and red fishing bobbers in the water. I just hang vertical, you know. I don't even have to move my feet or a toe or nothing. I just hang there. It's quite relaxing for me and it's quite the phenomenon for other people watching it as well. And so we would, we call that down in Alabama wallering, you know. So Brandon has pinned the term the last workshop we've come up with is aquatic wallering with Sister Sadie. How many of you want to go? It sounds fun to me. Yeah, I mean, I think it's only like 300 some odd dollars or whatever, but that's in one of them where you can't see out. I don't know about all that, because if I can't see out, I'm really going to be clawing the seat and trying to get out somewhere, so... I don't know, but that's like 300 and something dollars, but if you pay an extra hundred or three, four, five hundred dollars, whatever. You can get one that's got some windows or whatever. We got so, some pictures of the whole thing right over here. Y'all should go cruising with us. I don't, I mean, you know, really? sounds fun to it me. It is affordable and it will be a good time. And it's in February, January, February. It's in March, Dylan. No. <laughs> <laughs> but the year is 2020. It is 2020, so. 2020. Yeah, so, okay. Y'all going, right? Come pick up your flyer. So it sounds fun to me. Y'all ready to sing now? I'll, I'll stop talking if y'all want to sing. Yeah. Yeah. 
I missed your name. Well, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Thank you for calling me out on that. He said, have another shot. <laughs> of what? Fireball. Uh-uh. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Curtis Vestal is in the audience, and I will have to say this, that uh, he was in my... One of my all-time favorite bluegrass configurations with Mr. Dole Lawson and Quicksilver. He was the Quicksilver part. Scott Vestal Curtis, Vestal Dole Lawson. So y'all, he is sitting in the audience. And uh, Russell Moore. And uh, before that was Southern Connection. So yeah, I'm a little intimidated there, Curtis. Maybe that's why I'm drinking tequila. Not really. They know tequila in this building. So anyhow. But thank you and his sweet wife, Wendy, for coming out. What you do? What you over playing there, Ethel? Well, I thought we was doing It's another tequila sunrise Dripping softly across the skies There you go, Said goodbye Well, we did this song a few years ago um, in tribute to one of our heroes and uh, one of the country music icons and legends, Mr. Merle Haggard. And we played over in Bristol, Virginia, actually, the night that he passed away. And so we worked this up, just wanted to do a song in his honor. And uh, Delane just does this like none other. And... Uh, we want to just pay tribute to, to the hag. So this is one called Lonesome Fugitive. With chest to waves I run the long spin my life in jail I'd like to settle down but they won't let me A fugitive must be rolling
we're going to uh, do the very last song off the brand new record. And we got some still available over here for those of you who didn't grab one in the intermission. And uh, you can take it home with you or uh, just talk to JT and he's going to have some back here later in case you're visiting the station in again and you just have a memory of us and you go back there and get one so you can do that as well. But this is a Tom T. Hall song, and uh, yeah, we uh, we know Mr. Tom T., what a legend, and uh, songwriter and, and singer, and uh, he, we did this probably for one of the first times down at the station in, and I believe it was Best Sister, right, Melissa, that recorded this and played it for Mr. Tom T., and he patted his foot and said, can't nobody sing that like Dylan Bradley, so... <laughs> And, uh, I, you know, what more would you want than the, the stamp of approval from the songwriter, especially like the legend Tom T. Hall, right? He's the greatest. Yeah. So this is one called I Wash My Face in the Morning Dew. coming out here tonight and her aunts and her cousins, her family. Uh, we love you, sweetheart. She's always there for us. Mama Sadie over there. I want to thank the sound man, Mr. Kurt Story. Y'all give it up for Kurt. I don't know if Mr. JT Gray is still back there, but thank you for having us. And yes, he is. All right. And uh, yes, thank you, JT, for always having us. 
Y'all, this is where the Sister Sadie began, was at the Station Inn one night. So, JT allowed that to happen, and we appreciate you, buddy. And we love you. And uh, y'all tip you bartenders and waitresses, you know, like you'd be tipping a stripper or something. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, everybody needs to see John Martin's hat back there. It's got Sister Sadie on the front. But if the night gets wild, it turns around and it says, Dog titty, dog titty, dog titty. I don't have one of them. Well, it's duct tape, Dale, and we can make you one, okay? Oh, okay. And I say, your grandma will make you and all that. Yeah, we can make you something, so. Oh. Well, we miss the old hymns that you used to hear in church. Just the, I love, you know, the new stuff. Everybody's got to progress and put their ideas, it, it, ideas into the music, but I do miss the old hymns. And Tina does one that is always a blessing. And we were out in Washington State, I don't know, back in the, in the summer, I guess, at Washington State, yeah. And we were in Darrington, and there's this, I mean, this huge mountain, I mean, right in front of the stage. And she sung, and all you could do was hear her pretty clear, sweet voice hitting that mountain, and it was a spiritual experience. And I think that's what you all will have here tonight, and she's going to sing this for you. And uh, Danny has a brand-new album out. Uh, Y'all been hearing the single Stony Maid's been on the grass of comp charts for a while. She starts it out with another precious old hymn on the fiddle, so it's, uh, it's, you can't get too much of this stuff.
my capo. Huh? I've lost my capo. You need it? Yeah, I could play it out of open sea, but it wouldn't sound right. I need my capo. I got it. It's sweaty, but sorry. <laughs> that ain't the only thing that's in there. <laughs> my, lips, my lips are kind of chapped. I got outside. some chapstick too in there if you want to. <laughs> to their funeral, right? So, but you do it anyway. I don't know. Yeah. Are you okay? Let me get this mess back in here. 
Y'all didn't know I had Vaseline up my bra, did you? <laughs> well, anyhow, um, that's all it's in there, really, so. Um, Y'all need to go to our website. How many of you have been to our website? All right. For those of you who have not, y'all know the drill. The, for those of you who have, www.sistersadieband.com because if you go to sistersadie.com and we, <laughs> y'all have already been. So anyhow, we, we ain't responsible for what happens at that point in time, okay? You've got to click a little button that says you're 18 years or older and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> little, little hand waving you in there going, we'll pretend this never happened. Whatever. If that's your deal, I don't care. It ain't none of my business. But yeah, I promise you, it is none of us on that website, okay? <laughs> I think they know that. They figured that. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Fix to say back a few years ago, I probably could have been on this. <laughs> yeah, I worked for a dollar. <laughs> Still working for a dollar right now. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyhow, thank y'all for choosing to spend your Saturday night with Sister Sadie. We really appreciate it. And. For all you out there in Facebook land, thank you very much. I, I don't know how you got on there, but thank you for joining us and listening to us. We appreciate it and hope we didn't do nothing that offended you, but anyhow, so probably not, but anyhow, it's harmless. Thank you very much, and we're going to do a song now that uh, Delane brought to the band. I did. Who was the, who's the gentleman? Curly Putman. Yeah, Curly. He was here the last time we were here. He has, but Mr. Curly has passed away now. Bless his heart. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. He has, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. Well, this is a great song. <laughs> We are going to church. Where you go to church at? <laughs> we'll come. We'll come bombard your church. You want us in your church? <laughs> Do you want us in your church <laughs> for real? Because <laughs> I used to walk up in my church singing, moving on up. Because I was always late. It didn't matter. So I was always late. I just walk up the aisle singing. It didn't matter what the choir was singing. Moving on up. Might as well. You're just late and everybody's gonna turn around and look at you anyhow, so. <clears throat> Here we go, thank y'all very much. We love y'all and uh, y'all have a safe trip home and have a good night, okay? Thank you for joining us tonight. That Georgia sun was blood red and going down. That Georgia sun was blood red and going down. Daddy said, now come girl, we're headed down the road to Augusta. Called Mama's name and then he cussed her. He said, Girl, I know you're young, but some a dude has come along, stole your mother. Oh, but you can't steal a wooden mind, cause Mama's always looking for a lover. That Georgia sun was blood red and going down. That Georgia sun was blood red and going down. That Georgia sun was blood red and going down. That Georgia sun was blood red and going down. Threw dusty teardrops on his face. My daddy crying in big steps. He was taken. Halfway running to keep up. My shoulder blades were so tired and shaking. He said, Where did I go wrong, girl? And why would she leave us both this way? child of ten never knows exactly what to say that georgia sun was blood red and going down that georgia 